Hello, good evening. Thank you for being here. Is this a little loud? No. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> Sounds great. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, so welcome. This is the Gather Here tour. My name is Miki Sawada. I live in Boston currently, and this is um, part of a 50-state tour I'm doing where I'm traveling with a piano in a minivan right now. And I sit up in community gathering spaces like this instead of concert halls, and I use classical music as a way for me to get to travel to all the corners of the, of the country and get to meet people and connect with people, you know, in a, uh, sometimes coming from very different backgrounds than me. Um, and connecting through music. And yes, so I started this project in 2017 when I went to Alaska and then I went to West Virginia. And this is just my third tour out of 50 states. And this is a 12 stop tour of Massachusetts. And this is actually the very last concert. So this is the, the grand finale and I'm very, very happy that you're here to join me. And yes, so, you know, of course, like most performing artists, I've taken a 14 month hiatus from performing. And uh, so I've had a lot of time to reflect about what I do, what I do, why I do it, do I want to keep doing it? Um, but of course, I thought that it doesn't make sense to be doing this tour unless I'm somehow reflecting everything we've gone through collectively in the last year through the music I'm playing. So to that end, I'm going to start with uh, a piece by a composer named Florence Price. Has anyone heard of Florence Price? So you, great. Um, so she was a black American female composer who actually lived in Boston for a little bit to go to the New England Conservatory, which at the time was one of the very few top conservatories that was accepting students of color. Uh, she lived from 1887 to 1951. And she, was, she had a great illustrious career. She had a uh, major symphony played by the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, one of the greatest orchestras in this country. And of course, uh, classical music is a very, very white male-centric field. Uh, if you name all the composers that you know, there's probably people like Bach, Beethoven, Mozart. And of course, in the past year, we've had an explosion of the Black Lives Matter movement. So I personally have been thinking about what I can do better as an individual and um, one of the things I've been doing is searching for marginalized composers' music and finding what really resonates with me and celebrating their voices and bringing it to a wider audience. So I'm very happy to play for you uh, Florence Price's Piano Sonata. And if you would like, there's a QR code on that little sandwich board. So if you take a picture, it should uh, show you the program that I'm playing. Yeah, so I will start just with the first movement. It's a three movement piece, and then I will talk a little bit in between. So Florence Price's Piano Sonata.
Thank you. Oh, so many great, so many great to see so many kids out there. Um, so that was Florence Price's first movement of her piano sonata. And before I play for you the second and third movements, I have a, a little activity for all of us. Oh, hey, Carl and Stephanie. <laughs> um, so for my Gather Here concerts, it's very important to me that every single one of you and the environment we're in is as important to the concert experience as me and the music I'm playing. So to that end, often in my Gather Here shows, I involve the audience in some way or another. So, so this is no exception. Uh, what I'm going to do, it's very simple. So Uma will help me. Uma, the library director, the wonderful library director here, will be coming around. She will give you one of these note cards that says, before I die, I want to. And you're just going to ponder the prompt while I play for the next 15 minutes or so. And you will have a gather here pen, which you are welcome to keep. And uh, so your written answers will eventually become part of the show. So they'll be shared anonymously. <laughs> and of course, we've had so much death around us in the last year. And I think as a society, we're going to be pushing towards reopening. We already have been pushing towards reopening so fast um, without kind of taking a moment to collectively process what we've been through. So at least uh, in this time we have together here, we can do that a little bit. I love the birds, they're, they're singing so many different songs. I'm like listening to them while I'm playing. It's hard to concentrate because they sound really beautiful. But okay, so I will play the next two moments of Florence Price and Uma will. Let me, there's a request if you can repeat what you would like people to write. Ah, so the instructions again, it says on the cards, before I die, I want to. It's just to fill it out with whatever you would like. Where did you get the cards? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's these cards. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> She's too much on, on top of her game.
Thank you. So that was Florence Price's Piano Sonata. And so now, Uma will come around and collect your answers. So what this is about, um, this is actually not my idea. So it's based on a public art project called Before I Die by the artist named Candy Chang. And what she does is she puts up these murals in public spaces in, on uh, blackboard paint. And it says, before I die, I want to. And people walking by are encouraged to write their answers in chalk. And they turn into these beautiful, overflowing murals. And I love that idea of like spontaneous community making through public art, which is very much what I'm all about. So I reached out to Candy, who's done this project in more than 5,000 places around the world, to see if she would give me permission to adapt her project. And she did. So um, I asked my friend, Ariel Friedman, who's a wonderful cellist, composer based here in Boston. And she's also a singer-songwriter with her sister. They have a duo called Ari and Mia. And I asked her to take this prompt of Before I Die and uh, somehow turn it into a musical composition. So that's what I'll be playing for you next, uh, incorporating your answers. And another thing about this piece is uh, Ari was inspired by a folk song called Foreign Lander. And the lyrics go, I've conquered all my enemies at the land and on the sea, but you, my dearest Joel, your beauty has conquered me. And for her, uh, this song reminds her of her son, who was two years old, and his beauty has just completely conquered her. And one of her before I dies was to have a child. So she incorporates this melody from this folk song into this piece called Before I Die. And so while I sit up, I'm going to play a recording of Ariel singing the song uh, in her closet, basically, in like October 2020, in the middle of the pandemic. She had probably just put her son to sleep and she made this beautiful recording for me. So this is Before I Die.
many more evenings like this. Before I die, I want to travel to as many countries as I can. I want to feel unfettered, free. Before I die, I want to take one more family vacation. I would like to see a united country. Before I die, I want to see my Hollywood film producer son receive an Oscar and to become a daddy. Before I die, I want to write many books for children and young adults. I want to create a nonprofit organization dedicated to educating children in other countries about the importance of hygiene. Before I die, I want to write a book. I want to live life fully. I want to be a relaxed piano player. Before I die, I want to play piano like you. Before I die, I want to see climate change reversed. Before I die, I want to see a blossoming of tolerance, see a healing of our divisions. And seeing a great-grandchild will be a bonus.
to find peace. Thank you so much for your lovely responses. That was Before I Die by Ariel Friedman. Um, usually when I'm on tour, I get to, you know, like stay with host families and spend extended time getting to know people and visiting the town. And because it's during the pandemic times, I don't have a chance to do that. I'm just commuting from home. So this has been one way for me to get to know everyone on a personal level. And it's been really meaningful to collect all these responses. Um, I hope to make a video soon of like, this piece and a compilation of answers I collected on tour. So I only have one more piece for you, and that is because it is a pretty long piece. Uh, it is the Piano Sonata by Franz Liszt, who was uh, a fantastic virtuosic pianist who lived in the 19th, 18th century, 18th into 19th century. And uh, because he was such a superstar pianist, he wrote music that was very difficult for the piano, and the Liszt Sonata is probably one of the most technically challenging pieces that exists for us, for the solo piano. And uh, it's also a piece that's very dramatic and really encompasses a whole range of human emotions, which is why I wanted to bring it on tour. And it really push it pushes the pianist to, to the edge of what is possible. And you know, because I'm coming back from this whole 14 month hiatus, I felt like I should go big or go home on this tour. Um, and I wasn't sure if it is humanly possible to perform this piece 12 times in three weeks, but this is, this is it. This is number 12, so if I make it to the <laughs> other end of this, I've done it. Um, yeah, not much to say about the piece because it, I mean, there are so many, uh, so many things written about the piece, but I think it really speaks for itself. And so I would like to take this moment to thank Uma and the Ames Library for having me. And of course, the Eastern Cultural Council uh, was, has supported this program, so thank you very much. Um, this tour was supposed to happen in the fall of 2020, and of course it got pushed back. And I planned the tour months and months in advance, so Uma and I have been emailing each other since 2019, and we finally met today, and she has been so wonderful. Um, so over there, there's a little table. Um, there are pine glasses sitting. They're $10 each, so if you would like to give more than $10 to the project, you can take a pint glass, but also I need to get rid of those pint glasses since the last concert of tour, so if you really want one, please just take one. And um, there's the piggy bank for donations. This project runs about 70% on individual contributions, um, and I really appreciate that people who can give, give uh, to keep music going forward. So, yes, and there's also a mailing list uh, if you would like to leave your email address in the guest book. You can keep in touch about future tours. I plan to go to Utah in the fall, and I think Mississippi next spring, my first time in the South with the tour, and there's actually going to be a documentary film made about this Massachusetts tour, and all sorts of things, so I can send you updates and keep in touch that way. And there's a little jar with uh, index cards if you would like to leave me a comment. I love reading those. And I think, oh, there are stickers. Stickers are free. Please take them. Yes. So, yeah, I guess for the last time on tour, this is the listen up. Thank you so much for being here. This is really a magical occasion. And yeah, and we had to move the weather, from, uh, the, the concert date from this past Sunday when the weather was terrible. And I think this is really a beautiful way to end the tour. So thank you very much.
Before I die, I want to watch and enjoy my grandchildren grow up and thrive. I want to fill a sketchbook with beautiful drawings. Before I die, I want to visit the Grand Canyon. I want to travel to outer space. I want to live in another country. Before I die, I want to read all my cookbooks. I want to cure cancer. Before I die, I want to feel fulfilled.
Thank you.